Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that earwax removal compilation video today. Um, make sure you stay tuned for the last patient in this compilation. Uh, patient tried to remove their own earwax using a vacuum cleaner, so you're really gonna wanna see what happened with that one at the end. Uh, but this first patient here, you can see very, very tough old piece of wax. This one, big old chunky bit. We've got a good grip here with the suction tube. Just slowly wiggling, walking this big old chunky piece down the ear canal here. So you can see it's really starting to come out now. Uh, we just got it to the outside edge. It's got stuck on the on the bowl, so the back of this uh, this particular part of the ear here. I'm trying to maneuver it around that point, so it's really kind of getting stuck uh, just on the way out. Uh, but we'll just giving it a bit of a wiggle. There we are, just teasing it around the corner. You can see what I've had to do is sort of bend it around the corner to get this out here. Very, very slowly working our way around, bending it back now to get it around the tragus, which is this bit. And out that comes, there you go. Really kind of solid old piece, that one. But you take a look behind it, the eardrum looks lovely and healthy. So this is what it looked like beforehand. And this is what it looks like after. So you can see a massive difference there in that particular patient's ear canal. So this is the, uh, the second ear here. So we're just gonna go in much, much softer. Now, it's not uncommon uh, for patients to come in with one very, very softened up ear canal, one uh, rock hard. It's usually because when patients put olive oil in their ear canals to soften up, which is what we recommend before they come through. Uh, oh, look at that piece coming away. That is a long ribbon. Look at that coming out. Sorry, I'll go back to my point now. But you can see it's a really, really long kind of stretchy piece there. Um, yeah, patients will put oil in one side, which usually makes them feel a little bit more blocked up. So they're reluctant to do the other side as much. So it's not unusual to get one that's much more softened than the other. A lot of dry skin here that's come away. Uh, the olive oil that's actually penetrated into the skin softens it up. It's almost like moisturizing your skin there. Or if you've got a, like a tough old bit of leather and you put oil on it, it's gonna make it a little bit more sort of maneuverable. That's what happened here on the outer part of the ear. That skin had come away and then sort of not closed up the ear canal as such, but just started to drop into the canal. So as the wax is trying to migrate out, it's kind of hit those, uh, those pieces of skin there. So lovely uh, pieces coming away at the moment. You can see we're getting to this slight Slightly more oxidized wax here, a little bit darker in color. So we're just gonna grab the edge of that. There we are, you can see it's just breaking down a little bit. The difficulty when you have these sort of little lone strips of skin in there that fold across is when you put the suction tube in, they naturally, they're light, so they wanna to move towards the suction and they always get in your way. <laughs> so unless you can kind of strip them off or you can get a grip on another bit of the wax, they do tend to kind of flick over and, and cause more of a hindrance and they help a lot of the time. But we've managed to get that uh, plug moving forwards. Out that comes, look how dark that piece is, almost like ebony, it's very, very dark in color. Uh, it's starting to come away to sort of crumble away now you can see lots of little pieces all coming away oh thanks to everyone who joined us for episode 600 as well uh, we were on a premiere answering a couple of questions as well if you joined us on uh, on youtube uh just in case you had some uh, some questions you wanted to answer and we were on there um if you enjoy the sort of premiere side of it where you get to interact with us a little bit we might start doing that a little bit more regularly. So let me know in the comments if, uh, if that's something you want to see a little bit more regularly so you can chat along with us while we're, um, while we're watching uh, the video together. So two centimeters worth of wax there, seven eighths of an inch altogether between both ear canals. So uh, yeah, a fair old amount there. You can see it's, uh, it's very, very dark in color, very oxidized wax as well. So some tough old pieces in there. Just wait for our next one. So this is our next patient, oh, very similar here as well. Look how dark that wax is quite deep. Now this is deeper than I would expect wax to normally sort of migrate out to. You can see it is, is looking pretty solid. We've gone in, which is unusual for us, we've gone in straight away with some olive oil here. Uh, and that's because we can see this wax is tough as old boots. So it's gonna be stuck and dried onto the canal wall. Uh, so the suction tube, when it tries to get a grip, can't pull this forward. So better to throw some olive oil in this to start with, really kind of drench it. And that way then when it does get moving like it is here, you can see that skin material underneath there. Uh, it really moves when you do get a good grip on it uh, and that's why we'll pop that in first of all. Uh, there we go, let's take a look behind that. You can see eardrum, a little bit of uh, what looks like dead skin there. Oh, is that going to come away or is that a little bump in the ear canal? Oh, that's a little bump in the ear canal by the looks of it. Um, so you can see uh, eardrum looking really healthy there. So this is what it looked like to start with. This is what it looks like afterwards, so looking lovely. So just over a centimetre, half an inch uh, worth of wax there came out of that particular ear canal. Patient very very relieved to get that out of their canal, I've got to be honest. Uh, yeah, they were really, really struggling with that one on one side there. 
Okay, so we're into our last patient in the compilation. Now, <laughs> this lovely gent came through the clinic uh, having lots and lots of issues as far as the hearing was concerned, being on holiday, really struggling, um, and had attempted to remove the wax themselves by getting a vacuum cleaner and uh, the outer casing of a, of a, of a pen attached to the vacuum cleaner and then putting it into their ear to try and self-suction. Uh, which is something I really, really would not recommend, guys. It's not a good idea. Our suction machines are, you know, they, they're, they're limited. We have the expertise to be able to see what's going on in there. Uh, you can imagine the kind of mess that we're going to see in here now. So uh, what we've got here is a lot of dead skin. Uh, there's a lot, all sorts going on in here, which is just the general blockage, okay? So this is just what caused the patient's issue in the first place. They've been on holiday, they've been out of a pool, they've got some water in there, and what's happened here is that the water's just moved everything around and it's really uh, just moved all these sort of skin layers and wax all mixed together and really bunged this patient up. You can see, look at the canal wall the color there, can you see how white that is? That's all dead skin. Now that could be from the pressure here. We do get sometimes this, these sort of wax plugs and skin plugs uh, pushing down on the canal wall and it will kind of degrade the skin underneath sometimes. So what I'm doing here is just trying to tease this apart. This is just a whole bunch of stuff all wrapped together in here. So we, we've really got to kind of, it's almost like undoing a, a ball of wool. You've got to try and find an end or a, or a knot in string. You try to kind of pull different bits, uh, see what, what starts to come loose. And you can see now these very, very distinct layers in here. Now I would say to a certain degree, this looks like the beginnings of a little bit of keratosis obturans because we have got lots of sort of ribbon layers all woven over the top of one another. Uh, but you can see that skin just does not look healthy in here. So we're just pulling the central portion of this plug. There we are, you can see it's teasing forward from the top. It's just starting to roll down the canal a little bit here. Uh, so out that comes, look at that coming away. And then that's brought this sort of next section with it. Now I will warn you in advance guys, the eardrum does not look particularly pretty in this one. Um, obviously understandably so, I'll explain what's going on with it now in a second but you've got all of these layer upon layer. This is, look at the skin. You can actually see the individual layers of skin in here as well that are all bound together. Um, the difficulty with this particular type of, uh, of issue is that the skin tends to hold together really tightly. You can actually see a little bit of pink fluid in there. Now that to me looks like a little bit of uh, blood uh, that's been underneath this particular section of um, of wax. You can see it there to the bottom right corner. It just looks like a little sort of pinky color and you'll see the ear canal walls in a second as well, uh, which don't look particularly healthy. So out this comes, we're really working our way down. You can actually start to see the outline of the canal wall now. So we're getting rid of a lot more of this dead skin. Just trying to find any looser section. It already looks really red and aggravated in here. So I don't want to cause any more sort of discomfort by really pressing down on this canal wall. Uh, so I'm really just trying to tidy up as much of this as I possibly can. There you can see that pink material. There we go. Look at that coming away. All of that is just one big collection of dead skin uh, that's come away. You can see that pink color we were talking about there just at the front end of that wax uh, where there's been a little bit of sort of trauma to the, uh, to the actual canal walls themselves there. So let's get rid of this section. Now we can just start to see the, that is the eardrum you can see in the distance there. So let's get rid of this piece of skin here. Well, let's get rid of this section as well. Now, what's happened here is there's actually some bleeding to uh, what looks like behind the eardrum. It's what they call barotrauma. So barotrauma is if you get any uh, sort of trauma caused by changes in pressure. Look at the blood to the left-hand side of the eardrum. I told you it didn't look particularly... Uh, so that's happened where the patient's put the vacuum, what's happened is formed a seal and then the eardrums got pulled forwards and it's actually caused some damage to the eardrum itself and that's where the bleedings come from in the inner part of the ear. Now this patient is so lucky they didn't lose their eardrum because it really, you know, you put enough pressure on there and it would have taken that eardrum clean out uh, or certainly would have ruptured it in, in, in all sorts of ways. Um, so the patient was very, very lucky they didn't end up with a much worse uh, problem than they actually did there. We're having to refer that patient in now because you do uh, some 
sometimes get, especially if you've had extreme change in pressure and quick changes like that, you can also get acicular discontinuity, which is where the little bones in the middle part of the ear dislocate. So it can cause all sorts of issues. So they've been referred in for further assessment. Um, this is the pa same patient, other ear canal. Take a look at the difference in this one. This is how the ear canal should have looked uh, on that other side. But you can see there was just so much trauma on the eardrum and the skin around uh, the the uh, around the eardrum as well. My goodness me, there was a heck of a shape. But this is what it looked like to start with on this side, and this is what it looks like when it finished. Much much healthier. So this is what we removed. So we've got oh an inch and one eight three centimeters worth of uh, worth of wax there as well, guys. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a little bit more of an unusual one for you for the last one as well well um, but as always guys take care of yourselves take care of your ears and take care of one another and i'll see you again next week for some more videos bye everyone